because you brought it up, I uh, tweeted recently, but also just, I'm, one of the things I'm really ashamed of in my life is I haven't really read almost any of the sci-fi classics. Really? Yeah, so like I, my whole journey through reading was through like uh, the f literary philosophers, I would say, like Camus, Hesse, Dostoevsky, Kafka, like that place. Like that's a kind of sci-fi world in itself, but it's it, it just, it creates a world in which the, the deepest questions about human nature can be explored. I didn't realize this, but the sci-fi world is the same. It just puts it in a, it like removes it from any kind of historical context where you can explore those same ideas in like space somewhere elsewhere in a different time, a different place. It allows you almost like more freedom to like construct these artificial things where you can just do crazy, uh, crazy kind of human experiments. So I'm now working through it. Uh, the books on my list are the Foundation series by Isaac Asimov, Dune, uh, Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson, and Ender's Game, like you mentioned. Uh, that's just kind of, and then, so I posted that, and then of course, like Elon Musk, John uh, Carmack, I don't know if you know him, creator of Doom and Quake. And oh, all cool. That stuff. See, they all pitched in, these nerds, these ultra nerds just started like going like, these, uh, you need to read this, that, and, and the other. So I've like started working out, okay. But it seems like the list I've mentioned holds up somewhat. Is there a book, is there, sci-fi books or series or authors that that you find are just amazing? Maybe another way to ask that is like, what's the greatest sci-fi book of all time? Well, I, I'd like to start by uh, sharing something that I, I'm embarrassed about, mm -hmm. is that I haven't read anything other than, uh, you know, Orson Scott Card, yeah. J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, Frank Herbert, Tolkien, yeah, yep, Dune. yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm aware through Wikipedia and uh, through through surface reading of things that, like a book called The Republic, was written once. Um, yeah, there were some good. other some other good ones. So you read Wikipedia? You're uh, a prolific reader of Wikipedia articles. Well, or occasional, okay, yeah, <laughs> occasional, occasional reader. Yeah, exactly. In, in between uh, whatever else it is that I waste my time on, but <laughs> but yeah. So I also I should say I posted on Reddit questions for. Uh, Ryan Hall, and there's like a million questions, but like uh, half of them have to do with Dune. No, not really. But like <laughs> people bring up Dune. I don't understand why. I is, did you mention Dune before? Um, well, I actually, we actually have a show roll. Actually, made us a, a gi, a Dune themed gi one time, which I thought was kind of cool. Oh. Like, I'll send you one. I'll give you one. We got extra. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, actually, to, to your to your point, actually, uh, this is a Orson Scott Card quote. Actually, the writer of Ender's Game, um, fiction, because it's not about somebody who actually lived in the real world. Always has the possibility about of being about oneself and I, I think that's a neat thing because I, I have heard you know other very, people whom I respect and very sharp people actually every now and then dig their heels and going I don't like fiction I only like nonfiction it's more it's more instructive and I would go well, I completely disagree with that I think we have a hard enough time figuring out what happened at 7 11 three hours ago that let me tell you what happened 600 years BC I'm like hey I'm interested but don't tell me this in a story too yeah there's a, there's there's actual there's factual components I have no doubt but we struggle sometimes to like, I guess what I like about fiction is that you can tell me a story. It's all about people. I mean, every now there's more and less believable things. Um, and I think Dune would be an unbelievably well-written in my opinion for whatever I'm, you know, what do I know? But I really like Dune. I'll say that um, well-written example of, you know, human beings interacting with one another, the political component to that, the emotional, the intellectual, um, the relationship components, all of that. And, uh, I, I think that Dune is neat because it's a sci-fi novel, but only in the only in the loosest sense. It's it's really a story about religion, about group dynamics, about human potential, about um, belief, learning, politics, governance, ecology. It's a uh, the, the best stories remind me of history. The same way history, hopefully, is not just a a list of facts that I try to be able to recall or or factoids that I try to recall, but a story that I can understand and and see how how the threads of time kind of came together and created certain things. And a lot of times, like we say, I'm like, oh, how the heck is what's going on right now or 100 years from now or 100 years in the past happened? And you can look back far enough if we had accurate knowledge 
if we had that like that hypothetical perfect pool shot, you know, at the beginning of time, we would see an unbroken chain of events that led us to where we are and and where we are will potentially lead us to where we're going, which is again why hindsight's helpful. But I think it's neat. Like I guess I really enjoy, for instance, a book like Dune, and they're actually making a movie out of it, which I'm I'm skeptical of to be honest, because it's it's gonna be difficult to to bring that to the screen for a variety of reasons. But yeah, one of there's them, at least a hundred questions. Ask Ryan what he thinks about the new Dune movie. I am not enough of an authority <laughs> to have any sort of decent opinion, but I guess what I would say is so much of it goes on in the character's mind. Like how much of any of our day is is any lived experience, as it were, is internal. Like, the majority, how many times are people walking around and you know they can you could, they're like hey what do you see right now I'm like oh uh, well I see this picture I see a wall hey there's Lex but really what was what I was paying attention to it was what was going on inside of my head for a moment and almost the rest of the world tuned out and kind of dimmed and uh, yeah I guess um, that I think that's going to be a struggle to to any time you want to bring that type of a, a written story to to a, a visual medium I think it's going to be more difficult but it'll it'll be interesting it's definitely I, my one of my favorite stories and it's been. It's it's honestly helped me become better at life, in my opinion, better at the martial arts. And I think the the writer, I think Frank Herbert was absolutely brilliant, whether those were all his ideas, which in our reality, none of us are all of our good ideas aren't ours. We're a combination. Maybe you came up with something, you're a curator of other good ideas and some things you borrowed from somewhere without even realizing it. But uh I think the the way the messages and the themes and the ideas that were conveyed, particularly in the original novel, are just absolutely brilliant. Is that uh is that to you one one of the greats? And uh, and the flip side of that, like, or another way to ask that is like, if somebody's new to sci-fi, is that something you would recommend? That that is an entry point. I'm not well read enough in the sci-fi world. Like, I haven't read a lot of like Isaac Asimov or anything like that. But I, I just I'll recommend Dune. I'll be an obnoxious like evangelist for Dune to anyone who will listen. <laughs> Great. So I, I yeah, I would strongly <laughs> recommend it.